hundreds of pro-Russian militants have seized the regional prosecutor's office in Donetsk, eastern Ukraine, and there are reports of injuries. The attackers hurled Molotov cocktails and rocks at police, who responded with tear gas and stun grenades. Live TV footage later showed militants disarming the police and escorting them out of the building. Ukraine blames Russia for organizing the seizures of a number of offices in the east. Moscow denies the claim. In a separate development, German Chancellor Angela Merkel asked Russia to help free foreign monitors held in eastern Ukraine. The military observers were seized by pro-Russia separatists at a checkpoint in the flashpoint town of Slovyansk last Friday. On Wednesday, a Russian military attaché was detained in Ukraine on suspicion of spying and ordered to leave the country. Kiev helpless in Donetsk. The pro-Russian militants attacked the prosecutor's office, accusing those inside of siding with the government in Kiev. The crowd later forced its way into the building, stripping weapons and shields from the police officers. Many attackers chanted fascists. Fascists and later raised the flag of the self-proclaimed Donetsk People's Republic on the building. Donetsk, an industrial hub of more than one million people, has seen a number of government offices seized in recent weeks. On Wednesday, Ukraine's acting president Alexander Turchinov admitted that his forces were helpless to quell the unrest in some parts of the east, saying the goal was now to prevent it from spreading. Mr. Turchinov also said Ukraine was on full combat alert amid fears that Russian troops could invade. Some 40,000 Russian troops are stationed close to the Ukrainian border. Moscow has warned that its soldiers will act if Russian interests in eastern Ukraine, where a majority of the population are Russian-speaking, are threatened. The US and EU have accused Russia of failing to implement the terms of last month's deal agreed in Geneva aimed at defusing the crisis by disarming illegal militias. They have both stepped up sanctions against Russia this week, naming more individuals and companies facing travel bans and asset freezes.